guys, Wigs. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Miranda. If you're new here, today we're going to be reacting to Nuke's Top 5, Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos with a Scared Face. So that's lovely and inviting. If you guys like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, follow me on social so we can become friends. Every video, we give you guys a shout out. If you want to be in next video, shout out. All you have to do is comment anything at all down below. Make sure to check out my merch. The link is down below. I am doing 31 Days of Halloween, just not every single day, but there will be multiple videos a week so subscribe if you want to be part of that and without further ado let's just get scared apparently top five ghosts caught on camera exorcism fail Ooh, paranormal investigator us. mark from the youtube channel donnie drunkard believes his home in canada is haunted by a very dark entity that attached itself to him after one of his many paranormal investigations he's seen and recorded unexplained shadow figures and terrifying poltergeist Ooh, activity that has terrorized both mark and his cute little dog terry during two of his live streams he points an sls camera towards the storage closet yep. in his basement i remember Yeah. Like you can't really fake an SLS camera. Yeah, I got him. Hey, oh, oh. Yeah, I got him. Hey, oh, oh. I got him. Hey, oh, oh. Now, these videos might have seemed familiar to you, and that's because I featured Mark's story on my channel before. Since these terrifying events, the supernatural activity in his home hasn't decreased one bit. So in his recent YouTube live stream, Mark decides to do what is called, quote, the Roman exorcism ritual. Mm. He recites prayers from a book in an attempt to cleanse his home of the evil entity that won't leave him and his little dog Terry alone. I don't think just your average person is supposed to do that. To viewers to see. It did not go well. Oh uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Exorcism. That's the only word he got out. That's a sign you should probably not do that on your own. That's okay. I'm gonna keep going. Mark's rim pod goes off, but he doesn't think much of it. He continues to read prayers from the quote, Roman ritual book. That's when things get downright chilling. Oh God of heaven and God of earth, God of the angels and God of the archangels, God of the patriarchs. Uh oh, mm -mm. not a fan of that. Eyes upstairs, eyes upstairs, eyes upstairs, eyes upstairs, uh. eyes upstairs. One of Mark's static cameras captures no. what appears to be a pale translucent figure walking in front of his television nearby. He's walking Some of like Mark's concerned live stream viewers believe the figure actually dreary. looks like a monk, but it's Ooh. a bit hard to tell. But what do you think this sudden creepy appearance could be? Don't Let know. me know it's down creepy. in the comments. You can follow Mark's continuing scary paranormal story in live streams over on his YouTube channel, Donnie Drunkard. You decide. Oh, great. So this next set of videos features some very strange and creepy events. But if you're a skeptic, they could also be explained away with some fairly mundane causes. However, the videos are all extremely bizarre. So are these videos paranormal or just, well, normal? Let's watch and you decide. TikTok user and mother of two, Jessica Duffy, is not actually very active on TikTok. But there's one video taken by her Ring security camera that she just had to post. In the video, her two children can be seen joking about ghosts in the kitchen, quoting the Ghostbusters theme song. Now, I'm not sure exactly what started this odd conversation, 
but it seems like the ghosts might be listening. The two kids experience something absolutely terrifying. It's only funny because the caption, sorry. They screamed before the door was shutting, didn't they? Well, when I said that the two kids experienced something absolutely terrifying, I meant terrifying for them because Jessica Duffy does not claim in any way that this footage shows anything related to the paranormal. It was it's windy, very possible that this door. was simply a strong gust of wind that happened to blow the door shut at a comically perfect time. That's funny. Or was it? Because only a few days later, something else happens that's a little harder to explain. Oh, good. The dog's like, I didn't sign up for this. Another freaky turn of events, Jessica's ceiling fan in the very same room has a strange electrical short, causing loud popping electrical discharges and even a bit of fire, sending out a thick puff of smoke. The next day, of course, Jessica calls in an electrician to prevent a dangerous house fire. Now again, this might not be anything paranormal at all. But it's certainly a very strange phenomenon to occur just days after her children decided to taunt, quote, ghosts oh, in the house. Kids did it. Or, you know, maybe it's just a very weird series of coincidences. As the name of this story implies, you decide. Another strange and possibly paranormal video, an anonymous urban explorer from the YouTube channel The Unknown Cameraman is exploring an abandoned psychiatric hospital in New York when he and his friends hear the unexplained sounds of something very odd inside the creepy old building. Even though YouTuber The Unknown Cameraman is an urban explorer and not a ghost hunter, it's obvious that the event even freaks him out. It stopped when I slammed. That's weird. Now, viewers of The Explorer's channel have mixed ideas of what this strange sound could be. Some say it's roosting pigeons in the building. Some claim it's the whooshing sound of an odd vacuum created inside the closed off structure. And others say, hmm? believe it might be something paranormal. No one really seems to agree on just what this sound could be. But the real question is, why does the loud sound just suddenly stop all at once? That's true. Why would it stop is, if it was any of the other normal stuff? To hear while exploring an old abandoned mental asylum. Popular streamer Brian from the Twitch channel Daily Dasher travels the world and broadcasts his adventures live for thousands of people to watch on Twitch. 
In one of his many six to eight hour long live streams, he is celebrating his birthday in Ecuador. During his live broadcast, his viewers are shocked when they see someone who seems very out of place. Yeah, I'm a little confused too. But it seems like, there's a, why is there a child here? Oh no. He said that they closed at 10, and it seems like they're, that's what someone in the chat said, that the curfew is extended, but it's till 10. So even though we didn't get the exact words out of his mouth, there's still a curse. That girl was creepy. It seems like I don't think a normal kid would just stand in there like that. That's sad. Don't scare me like that. Oh my God, it's gone! Oh no! Ew! Chad, stop I don't that. like supernatural That's stuff. Actually... Why you guys said it's a ghost girl? <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> I should have stayed home. <laughs> <laughs> at first, Brian casually points out that there's a child standing at the balcony she, window. No kid just ran Oddly, the, the little girl like is that? standing perfectly still. In fact, she is so still that viewers chatting in his live stream think that it might be a statue. Some even jokingly suggest that it's a little ghost girl. So Brian pans his camera around and looks over. To his horror, he discovers that the little girl has mysteriously disappeared. Like if the girl would have left, now, he would have Now just like heard. in the previous videos, I'm not necessarily saying that this is a paranormal event caught on camera. It might simply be that the girl who doesn't move and appears to be completely unresponsive to her surroundings, maybe she just ran off when Brian was distracted. But Brian's reaction to the odd disappearance seems very sincere. Where he was she though? Why was she alone shook. in the club? That's that food? Don't scare me like that. Oh my god, it's gone! Oh no! <laughs> Chat, I don't like supernatural stuff. Why you guys said it's a ghost girl? <laughs> it's gone! <laughs> I should have stayed home! <laughs> but, as with the other videos, I leave it up to you to decide. Something in the closet. Last week, I featured creepy footage of the terrifying haunting at the home of Mary Therese Pagai. Verify the client's identity and provide. Ano ba tun? Sige pa din pa sina 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 sina. Otra otra daw. One two three go. Now that I have introduced myself to the patient. Together with her brother, Mary was recording a nursing instructional video as part of her education. Sorry. When Why suddenly the two got the scare of a lifetime. I saw this video Since before. the horrifying events, Mary has been unable to sleep inside her own room. Like but after the files, overwhelming support so of New Stop 5 viewers, she decided to set up a night vision CCTV camera to record any evidence school. that might explain that the scary incident. One night, just after midnight, her camera captures something truly bizarre. Oh no. An eerie smoke-like mist floats by and Ooh, an electric that's... fan in Mary's room turns on by itself. Her curtains move on their own and a bright orb appears right before the electric fan turns itself off again. Mary says that earlier that day her camera caught even more unexplained footage. Hiding in the closet. Mm -mm. Oh. The closet door swinging open and slamming shut on its own is creepy enough, but the footage is even scarier when you realize that a dark shadow okay, slowly creeps its way towards the closet. 
Now it's yeah. a little hard to see at first, but watch closely as I add a little video enhancement. Yeah, I thought I saw that at the very end. Because of the sudden terrifying activity in her home, Mary says she thought long and hard about what could have possibly triggered the apparent haunting. There's only one recent event that she can think of that could be the cause of the sudden paranormal activity. She brought home you see, something. earlier this month, Mary and her boyfriend were on their way home when they witnessed a terrible traffic accident. Mary's boyfriend is an emergency medical responder and immediately rushed to the victim who had severe critical injuries. Sadly, it was too late and the man didn't survive. Mary believes that the spirit of the victim just might have followed her home. Now, before this next clip, it should be noted that Mary has shown the inside of her small closet in a previous video, and there really isn't much room for anyone or anything in there. But days later, when she checks her bedroom CCTV footage, what she finds is downright terrifying. Stop them. No. Yeah, is it getting smoky? Did you see it? Oh! A hand can be seen reaching out from inside of Mary's bedroom closet. I didn't and soon see after, that. the stacked set of chairs in front of her desk move on their own. So, just what do you think is happening in Mary's family home? Mary's gotta get out of there, that's what. Something still lives here. A paranormal investigation team from the YouTube channel RC Fun TV travels to an abandoned house in Batambang, Cambodia. Locals claim that in 1994, the land used to be a graveyard for hundreds of deceased men, women, and children. And they decided Eventually, the land to... was sold and the owner had the cemetery excavated and the bodies burned to make room for his new family home. Shortly well, after the completion of the house, allegedly happened. several members of the family were repeatedly pulled out of their beds by an invisible force. That's what Soon happens. after, the family began to suffer from horrible, unexplained diseases. Fearing that they were cursed by the angry spirits of the former graveyard, they left the home and never returned. Dig up and the burn small wooden bodies. house has now been abandoned for over 10 years. The Cambodian paranormal team prepares a ceremonial offering for the restless spirits that might be haunting the home. During the preparation, they are interrupted by something they can't explain. Okay, uh, very much. I don't need you to be jumping in the middle of the camera. I'm going to jump in the middle of the camera. I'm going to jump in the middle of the camera. I'm going to jump in the middle of the camera. I'm going to jump in the middle of the camera. I'm going to jump in the middle of the camera. I'm going to jump in the middle of the camera. I'm going to jump in the middle of the unexpected loud bang sends the host of the RC Fun TV team into a fit of nervous laughter but they continue their exploration. The team is a little reluctant to climb the rotting wood stairs of the house and instead head around to the back of the building and climb onto the roof. What happens next is downright chilling. Uh, 
they just jumped off the roof. One of the team members comes face to face with a ghoulish pale apparition peeking out of the window. That's out of shock, both team members forget their own safety and just jump right off the side of the roof. That's the only reason why it's believable because they just like and jumped. Some deep psychological scars. The two men like are what? otherwise. That looked okay. like a vampire. Now, cut to two months later, and the team returns, determined to explore inside the creepy house. During another ceremonial offering, they have no idea what their camera is capturing. Okay. Did you see it? Yeah, I saw The team it. is completely unaware that something seemed to walk by the window upstairs. After careful deliberation, the two men decide to climb the rotten stairs up to the house. Once That's inside, weird. they see something absolutely horrifying. In an incredibly bizarre turn, a disembodied head can be seen sitting on top of a wooden support beam. The team's host records as he runs away in fright. When the guys go back upstairs, there are no signs of the head, nor are there any signs of anyone or anything having ever been there. So did the investigators capture the paranormal activity that drove away the home's owners? Or is it Ooh, all like just what? an elaborate hoax? You decide. That's a not You can watch safe this full two-part investigation over on the YouTube channel prank, so RC like... Fun TV. Knock knock. Oh, over the course of a couple of months, a series of strange events began to yeah, occur in several states that. in Malaysia. People began to report that someone had knocked at their door very late at night, but when they went to answer, there was no one there. I really don't like this one. Rumors spread throughout the countryside that the incidents were somehow related to the supernatural. And strangest of all, this odd occurrence wasn't just reported by one person, but multiple people across completely different states, spanning a large section of the country. Oh no. No, no. I mean, that's clearly a see-through door. That guy's just like casually oh, fine with it. No, really good. He's just like, yeah. That's happening. Now, at first the story might just seem like an odd couple of videos, but no. These incidents were widely reported. In fact, the story got so much attention that it even made it into Malaysian print and TV news. But this bizarre story of supposed ghosts knocking on doors in Malaysia took an even stranger turn just last month. You see, Residents of the neighboring country of the Philippines recently started reporting very similar terrifying experiences. Strange knocks on their door late at night. I don't like this. But 
this time, the late night knocks were blamed on a very different, but equally bizarre cause. Eyewitnesses claimed that the knocks were from gangs of dangerous cult members oh. who go house to house with the intention of hurting anyone foolish enough to open the door. Okay, so Again, there were multiple reports door, around it? the province of Misamis Occidental in the Philippines. Videos circulated again. online of armed men roaming the streets looking for the cult members, but they never found anyone. Oh, and gosh. it gets even weirder because some eyewitnesses claimed that these cult members had strange supernatural powers and could actually disappear and reappear at will. That kind of looks edited, but the fact that there's real people. The reports were taken so seriously that the Philippine National Police conducted an extensive investigation. But the alleged dangerous cult members were never found. Oh, Likewise in Malaysia, gross. no one ever found an explanation for the strange not, late night knocks cool. on the doors. So the question remains, just what is going on in Southeast Asia with these strange reports of supernatural late Don't night know, knocking? But I'm good if and it are the incidents in Malaysia me. and the Philippines related? Maybe we'll just never know. <gasps> Thanks for watching. That is not okay. People showing up at your house in the middle of the night. So let me know your thoughts on that down below. Did you think they were real? Did you think they were fake? Which ones did you think which? If you guys like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, follow me on social so we can become friends. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.